Hello everybody and welcome to game number 6 uh, for my season in Rebel G-Man 4. Just, this is the replay because I played the game on my laptop and the stream was terrible so I'm doing replays of them still and uh, as you can see I'm against Norse, lost the toss and he's made a removal with his first block. Uh, he's went for an apple with his inducement money. Uh, because obviously he thinks that I might be able to beat him up. <laughs> Little does he know that Norse and I bogey team. So, what's he got? He's got a claw mighty blow. I mean, this is an incredible yet, isn't it? Claw, obviously he starts with claw. Mighty blow, guard, block, stand firm. Very good yeti. Um, a dirty player with plus armor. Okay. Obviously blood step runner, standard. Another blood step runner. Guard might blow blitzer. He's letting me punch his uh He's letting me punch his Yeti as it stands here, isn't he? But he does have stand firm. So it's a bit risky. A bit risky getting stuck in him. Makes a foul. It's two removals, turn one. Again, it's not crazy. It's not crazy, because he's got Oh and, and and there was a counter removal. Brilliant. So that's pretty good getting getting a passive removal turn one, but still, you know that they're, they're they're a skillless beast. They're a huge percentage to get knocked down. He's got mighty blow, so it's not crazy to lose them. But um, obviously, I'm gonna hit the yeti and and and, and greed it as well. Hundred percent. And nothing into nothing. Brilliant. So that was about an 80% knockdown, wasn't it? Failed. And do you know what I did? I did wrong here. I'll pause it. I moved this dirty player. I I forgot he had stand firm. So I was going to push him to here. And had I remembered stand firm, I would have moved this dirty player over to here. So that it would have been much harder from... I mean, okay, we would have just blitzed with the ulf. To be fair, we would have just blitzed with the ulf. Um... But still, you know, it made it too easy for him to get the assists in, to hit back. So that was a mistake. He loners the wild animal, gets a pow, gets a kaz. <laughs> Outrageous. So, <laughs> so there you go. I two dice his his best player. Do nothing with a reroll. E2 dice is my best player, Cass him. Feels bad, man. Dauntless. Getting the hit. I kind of forgot about Dauntless there, probably. I always forget about Dauntless on Norse runners. It's a bit, bit sneaky, isn't it? But getting some blocks back here. Against Armour 7. Do nothing. Could have done this with. I could have done this hit with claw pump, couldn't I? I should have. Should have done. Um, that would have been four five. Maybe it would have been a GFI. But I could have tagged him. I could have done that with claw pump. I think. Oh, it's because I'm going to foul him as well. <laughs> Kaz, get up there. And he apples it. He apples a badly hurt. No, it wasn't a badly hurt. It was a four. So he gets a he gets a somewhat lucky apple. He apples the worst thing to apple, which is just a, a non perm miss next game. And he gets a badly hurt. So I'm okay with that. We've, we're both down our best player for the drive, somewhat. I mean, okay, that my tackle pom is better than my non tackle pom, but. He's pretty important, isn't he? And Yeah, he's he's running down here, he's running down the scoring threat. Which I'm obviously okay with, because then I can beat him two one, so I don't need to care about the scoring threat, do I? 
Just need to get control of the drive. Getting some blocks made now. Good old gym pals. And then, you know, it's a 50 50. You're 50 50 to knock someone down, aren't you, when they've got blocks? So it's not like. There's no point crying about it. This was bad, though, because that gives him the jump up it, doesn't it? So I was like, oh, shit. But I thought at least I've got the guard to protect against that a bit. Don't know why I shouldn't have blocked with this pom here. Maybe I should have just blocked with a dirty player and then get the pom into the game. Probably should have done, shouldn't I? Probably should have got the pom into affecting the... You know, one, two, three, four, five. Could have got the pom in there or something. Oh, but I'm getting a dirty player foul. Okay, fair enough. Armour 7. Get in there. Oh, that was okay then. It's funny not remembering what I did or why I did it. <laughs> he could have blocked uh, He could have blocked that guy and chained his... Both went on to another block there. Don't know if he wanted to or not. If he would have wanted to, but he didn't, so it's all right. He's just going for the score. Early score. Happy days. I'll take that after being down four players. And he doesn't have a wizard. And he's only got 11 men. So he's down to 10, isn't he? Three, six, nine, ten, and three, six, ten. So ten aside, I have thirteen players. <laughs> so I'm down three, and he's down one. Well, that's okay. Casually outbashed by by Norse, but you know they've got claw and some mighty blow, so it's not outrageous that the armor seven guys are outbashing the armor eight guys, <laughs> and the a pommer is gone. So. But this is still a great situation, isn't it? Great situation to win 2-1 here. Great spot to win 2-1. And even a high kick? Even better? a double skull. Okay. Alright, so now I've got to do a bit of safe moves, innit? And this, this is where you should do safe moves first anyway, but no one ever does. Because they think they won't roll a, a quad skull. But there was no reason to not move these guys first. No reason at all. That, you know, it's just... It, but it's something pretty much everybody does. But now I'm making these three dices so they're not skulls. Jelly -o. Jelly -o does do that. Well, most people don't do that. Uh, Jelly -o must be one of the few that do that play like he has no rerolls when he has rerolls. But most people don't play like the um, most people don't play like they have no rerolls when they have rerolls. Devastating LOS, yeah, I mean, <laughs> no no armor 7 broken at all there from, from all that mighty blow. I mean, there's only two mighty blow and a mighty, well, a mighty blow and a pom. But still, armor 7, you know, I would have liked to have, uh, I would have liked to have at least made a knockdown, well, a, a stun. I would have liked at least a stun there. But it's it's 10v10, isn't it? So it's it is a bit greedy. A bit greedy to expect something to happen. So, yeah, I'm, I put that in there to make it three dice. After skip, I've only got one reroll, right? I've only got one reroll left, so I want to be pretty. Uh, I don't know why I didn't hit with a claw there, uh, with a mighty blow even. 
The mighty blow should have should have punched there, shouldn't he? I don't know why the mighty blow didn't punch. Wouldn't have wouldn't have passed armor anyway. Oh, because I'm just going to move him over there. Okay. Well, then he could have moved over there. And then tackle. I thought about blitzing the Ulf, but then went to try and use his tackle. Didn't get anything. <laughs> no pickup. I think this was to cover the, uh, the frenzy. I think that was the idea of getting him in there. In case of... Like, you know, try. Oh, yeah, it was for frenzy because then if he pushes him, there's guard there, isn't there? So that was to cause a frenzy. Oh, there would have been there at guard there anyway. I don't know why this guy was here. I must have thought there was a reason to do it. But uh, I don't know what that reason was. These pickup fails are making this score very dodgy now, aren't they? And combined with a double skull not being able to reroll the pickups. Putting us on one reroll. Dauntless doing things. <laughs> First AV break of the half. Oh no, it wasn't. That stunned him. But still, I mean, come on, get out of town. Get out of town. I'm get hitting all this armor seven with mighty blow and pom, and nothing. And then one block back. There you go. Outrageous. A push. Put him down, so that's, that's good, actually. Didn't want to follow him because I just want to push him away. Bit of a risky block though, isn't it? Without without block and without rerolls being allowed. <laughs> now I've got to reroll the pickup on turn six, I think. And make it finally. Wow, so I've left him a 3 plus to, to 1D the ball. Maybe I should have double GFI'd. Because I'm going to have to GFI to score anyway, aren't I? At least once. So maybe I should have double GFI'd. There. With only one reroll, I want to leave the GFI till turn 8, don't I, if I can? We can surf this. Surface beast man, but I thought if he does, at least it takes him away, doesn't it? Uh, Kaz. <laughs> Solidly outbashed by these N Norse now. Two KOs, two Kaz versus one send off. <laughs> another AV break, another removal. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> Can we call this a dicing yet? Probably. Blodge Stepper bases the ball. And he doesn't get the... Oh, he gets the one dice pal. So he doesn't get the surf, but um, he also doesn't turn over. Yeah, I've smashed... I've smashed Armour 7 to bits and just done nothing. Either pushed them or both down or not broken AV. Couldn't do the handoff play because of the disturbing presence. Uh, not that I want one to. But it would have been an option if there wasn't disturbed. But it was still an option. I could have done the handoff or the dodge away, couldn't I? Um, no, dodge would have just been better. And like potatoed up here. But I wanted to uh, to not do that. I wanted to get a knockdown on this guy. So there's still some. This has worked out pretty well here. I get the I get the potato there without having to dodge. Oh, that was that was a pretty good turn, wasn't it? Sacrifice this guy to the surf, but um, and there so that I don't know why I probably should I can't get surfed, I guess, um, because I I thought this guy could have no maybe the ulf could have you could have chained the ulf off. That's what he could have done. You could have chained the guy off the ulf and surfed him with the ulf, um, but he didn't. Yeah, if we pause it, it's a bit late, but he could have filled in this square, I'm sure, and he could have chained he could have chained the ulf off and then blitzed with the ulf. So I thought I wanted to be three in, so at least he wouldn't serve me. And the the guy who ate the surf to stop to, to protect the ball carrier gets killed. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, I think that's the third surf this team has given up. I think this was the third time in history that this team had given up a surf and it was a death. So he just goes for the dodge into a one die splits. Gets a pow. Because, of course, he does. And he okay just 50 50 to get him down. But, um. I still wasn't happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Irrelevant AV break on turn 8 Super But there can be a surf here can't there Can surf the ulf back Maybe this will kill him Maybe, maybe nothing will happen to him eh Nope, a KO. Will I do a one dicer on the off? Yeah, dirty Dino. It was a good payoff though, wasn't it? Because I've got a reroll and I've got Pom. So, well, Claw Pom against an off. And he's cast. Glorious. And the Apo fails. He gets minus strength. So for all this dice, is, this game has been a bit of a dicing, I think. Um, he's the one who's taken the permanent injuries, and not me. Well, okay, I did take a death, but it was just a dirty player. I'd rather have a dirty player die than a... Uh... And he had a chef as well, he had a chef as one of his inducements. I'd rather a, a dirty player die than a block guard. Uh, Ulf. So yeah, he had the chef. Ah, that's why I had so few rerolls. So now this is what? Three, six, eight players versus three, eight. Eight versus eight. These KOs stayed out again. So this is something like none out of six or something. None out of four. None out of four on the KO rolls. And uh, But still, you know, he's armor seven. It's going to break. It's going to break eventually, right? Isn't it? Won't it? Won't it? Won't Armour 7 break eventually? Maybe? Possibly? Oh, it's a blitz. Oh, joy. And it's a short kick. And I didn't have enough players to pr protect against a blitz. Brilliant. 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 <laughs> ah, he wild animaled. Ah, oh, but it wasn't a blitz. Oh, why didn't he blitz with the Ulf? With, with, a, with a Yeti, he could have wasted his blitz there. Didn't catch the ball, so that's good. And I can free up tackle, which I do so instantly. Claw pom this guy. Got him. Pile on. Uh, nothing. <laughs> oh. I had to pile. I mean, I could. There was an argument for not piling because you know there's a tackle zone there near the ball, but I just wanted to fucking hurt something. <laughs> Finally, guard can come in here to make this two a D, can't it? Not that the guard was required. Just cancelling the, the tackle zone, but still, nothing. So I it, cause, <laughs> can't even. Get a tackles on on the ball now. <laughs> oh man. Rookie Norse not making near V break. Wow. He wild animaled. Got made the lawn a reroll and then filled the wild animal again. <laughs> so that was pretty unlucky for him. But yeah, I guess I shouldn't have piled on there. But then on the other hand, if I take out this guy, it's really good for me, isn't it? So, I don't know. It's easy to say I shouldn't have piled after it fails. But if it had worked, it would be a great pile. A 
But this tackler is movement seven, isn't he? So this isn't such a bad threat. That's the first action that I do. Let's go. Made the GFI to make the hit outrageously. Outrageously pass a one in six. I couldn't follow because he's a fucking frenzy bastard, isn't he? Can't believe I got knocked in the knockdown there, to be honest. Oh, that wasn't a very good move. I could have put him in here, couldn't I? I could have put it. I think I would have been better putting him in there and then blocking with him. Or I don't like. I don't like the way I've done this. Ah, I guess I'm blocking him with an extra block. Hmm. Don't like it though. I think I should have got the guard in below here. I don't like that at all. And then I, I kept him st st sitting down because he could have got served, couldn't he? So that was really, probably was a mistake, um, piling on with him. And there you go, he's make, this is a wild play, this, a wild play. Um, in the, his first action, oh, his first action was a, a wild animal blitz with Frenzy maybe forcing him to make two GFIs. And it did force him to make the second GFI. So it was three two pluses. With a loner was was essentially his play that he was in first action. So that was a big mistake from him, I think. He could have definitely consolidated his position a lot better than that. Um, tackle this guy down. Maybe I won't pile now because I've got to. Oh, I didn't. I didn't need to pile. I don't think I would have piled though, but I didn't need to, so that was good. Yeah, I don't want to scatter because I can pick it up now, can't I? Fishing for a power and get it? Yeah, no armor break though from Mighty Blow. Now I've got to use a reroll. And <laughs> fail, <laughs> fail the pickup, so. <laughs> a chance of getting surfed there. Oh. <laughs> And he goes for it and gets it. <laughs> God! No look at all this match. No look at all. Just no look at all, is there? I mean, made, made some removals in the end, but he made more. And, and like, I guess, at least my dead guy was only a dirty player and his his guys are both. So he is, you know, he has, it's not like, you know, it's been great for him, but it's been horrible for me. Opening move is a one dice block. Get out of town. But it was needed, wasn't it, to get this two dicer? And I think a, a throw in's all right here because it could go, it could go towards the ball. Like it could go in this way, couldn't it? Which would be nice, but it's not a scatter. Don't pile on. Ah, oh, probably shouldn't have piled on. I was probably <laughs> piling a bit too freely, wasn't I? I guess. Huge dodge there to make this a two D. And doing nothing. Maybe I should have not blocked there because I wouldn't have wanted to roll a double skull, would I? Obviously, not going to block there. No, and he could have served him as well, couldn't he, potentially? But he gets the scatter into the crowd. And it's not the worst possible scatter, but it's not the best one. I mean, he would have been terrible for me, um, to be fair. One dicer. And yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good scatter for me, actually, isn't it, now? I mean, two of the, two of the three were all right for me. Well, one was all right, one was good for me, I think. In fact, this might have been the best one for me because now I can pick it up and secure it, can't I? Can blitz him with tackle. Or GFI blitz. Wow, this is greedy. 
with one reroll, that's incredibly greedy going for the GFI blitz. But it did give me the it did give me the the pickup on the tackler. And then this pylon is outrageously greedy. But if I don't break AV, he can he can one dice block me, can't I? So can't he? So that was a very greedy blitz and pile. Very greedy. But the way I looked at it was if I didn't pile, you can just you can just one dice the ball easily. So but yeah, very risky. And and as you can imagine, I was maybe maybe not very happy in this game. <laughs> it hasn't gone great. But he's losing players as well now, isn't he? Three six versus three four six 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 aside it is now. Seven out for me and five out for him. So it's six aside. I think the the biggest the bigger risk was the GFI to hit with him rather than the uh, actual um, pile. Why didn't I? Ah, oh, I couldn't follow, and I didn't have the extra square of movement to base him. Fail the pickup again. Use my last reroll to actually make a pickup and fuck off. And now he can GFI to base. And fails. <laughs> into, into yet another AV break. <laughs> I mean, the pickup fails were outrageous there. There's so many pickup fails and the blitz. I just couldn't get anything going, could I? Horrible. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! So now he's just a dodge away from two dicing me anyway. Irrelevant blocks first, as as is tradition. <laughs> get your irrelevant blocks in first. It's fair enough though, it might get SPP. It is a league, isn't it? it might get him SPPs in the league, so I don't hate doing it here. Rerolls it and doesn't knock me down. Outrageous. Outrageous. And a follow. Outrageous follow here. Horrible follow. Gives me the chain play. I couldn't believe he followed that. Could not believe it. So as you can imagine, I'm pretty happy now because I just need to knock him down here. And get a push. Well, okay. We failed the 50-50 push. At least I can get the 3 plus dodge, right? No. <laughs> so that is that is all she wrote that is game over lost 1-0 in a game that I think I should have won 2-1 I think I <laughs> I think I was very hard done by in this game I felt very hard done by this game I feel like I definitely should have won uh, at least a draw I think I at least deserved a draw but I feel, you know, I could have played better, you know, as always, I could have played better. Um, just looking at back, there's a few things I'd have done differently. But still, ultimately, all those pickup fails were horrible. If I'd just had a reroll there for the, for the dodge, it may have been a touchdown, might not it? Kaz on, a Kaz on turn 16. And, you know, it wasn't good for him. He, he, got, a, he got a dead oath, so... That's the thing about Blood Bowl, isn't it? Especially in leagues. He's not going to be happy that, that the one Kaz that I did killed his Ulfwerner. With his apple fail and stuff. Just trying to run away, I guess. Protect the, protect the claw pump. Was it? That was a uh, that was <laughs> made more rate of e bricks, but that again that includes the piling on that I've got and piling on messes with a dice log on that front. Uh, made sixty two blocks <laughs> for three cars <laughs> with, with a, you know some mighty blow and some piling on. Forty blocks for seven removals total. Uh, two. <laughs> 
nuts. Nuts to get that many more blocks. I mean, 62 blocks against Norse is, is wild, isn't it? Against Armour 7. Um, he made three Lona rerolls. His wild animal. It, some were four pluses, to be fair, but he was he wasn't lucky with two pluses. To be fair, he was he wasn't lucky with his two plus wild animals. His pickups were three out of three. His dodges were seven out of eight. <laughs> Though I guess some had dodge, so it wasn't that crazy. And twenty nine, twenty three, twenty nine. So nice, nice, nice block dice for him. Team fantastic. I've got thirty seven, forty two, thirty three. So a bit rough block dice pickups 2 out of 8 <laughs> 2 out of 8 pickups that is the real game loser there isn't it uh, dodges 2 out of 3 fair enough it was the crucial one that failed and uh, wake ups after KO was, was actually 0 out of 4 because the last 2 were at the end of the match weren't they it was actually 0 out of 4 wake ups so it was 0 out of 4 wake ups no, it wasn't. Oh, maybe it was two. Or, maybe it was two out of six. Maybe it was two out of six. But um, yeah, two out of eight pickups was the killer. Really, that was the real killer, wasn't it? Story of the match. Everything else. Everything else. Getting out bashed by them, while a bit crazy, considering I got got fifty percent more blocks with a with a bashier team. Getting out bashed happens, doesn't it? But really, the the pickups were the killer because if I. would I really should have had a good chance to draw. It should have had a deep, better chance to win, I think, but really good chance to draw in the end. But there you go, denied. Uh, but, you know, all credit to him. So there you go, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.